What is up guys and welcome to the very first episode of the Breaking Point Story Mode. Today we are going to be tackling uh, the story mode as young Aiden Jackson and we are going to be fighting his way from F2 into F1 and hopefully be a future champion or maybe not a world champion but hopefully a future champion in this in this story mode uh, we've got three difficulties here normal challenging and hard as you guys know we're going to be going for hard I'm hoping that sounds okay okay sound seems to be all good okay I'm hoping the mic is all good as well so we're going to be going on the hard difficulty Three choices of teams here. Alpha Tauri, Aston Martin, beginning as Racing Point in 2020. Alpha Romeo, Haas and Williams. Because we're going to be doing my team and because we are going to be essentially a backmugger, or that's what I hope, or that's what I reckon, uh, we're gonna go someone for who is realistic, someone realistic that is, you know, capable of scoring big points or big enough points as a midfield team. So I reckon we're gonna go for Alpha Tauri. Okay, let's get into this breaking point story mode. Okay, Pro Lodge. With the 2019 Formula 2 Championship coming down to the final race of the season, young British driver Aidan Jackson is looking to etch his name into the history books. The final race of the F2 season. Okay, let's get into this. Look at it! Every driver is being so aggressive. Check it out! They'll all be feeling the pressure right now. None more so than young Aidan Jackson from Carlin. That's right. Rumors from the paddock talk about a possible future for Jackson in Formula 1. And with only a few laps to go, this is still anyone's race. The atmosphere here is electric and we couldn't have asked for a better finish to the F2 season here in Abu Dhabi. Okay, are we going? Yes, we are going. Okay. Okay, Aiden, you're doing great. Keep focused. You know what to do. Copy that. Okay. And we got the fastest lap as well. Oh, look at the run we get here on Seto Camera. Okay, uh, objective, finish first to, to win the F2 Championship. Okay, so we have to win this race regardless. And we've got three laps to do so. Oh, whoa! Okay, these F2 cars are a handful. Okay, 3.6 seconds to the leader. Okay, thanks mate for getting out of my way. Latifi in P2. Okay, mate, you're not driving an F1 car, so this, this car is going to be slower. You have to be really careful through these corners, because the car can easily step away from you. Bear in mind that this could be just a default setup. Two more laps. Oh, let's see if he looks up, but it doesn't run as wide. Look at the run we get on him. It's ridiculous. Oh, oh, get, oh, contact. But we are going to lunge him into the little chicane before the hairpin. Right behind. 
the leader. Are we gonna look? Or oh, probably could have. We'll get a run. No. Focus on the exit. Nice fish tag, which helps us with the exit even more. And we are now in P1. Let's not bottle it, please. Ooh. Yeah, these, these F2 cars are quite a handful. Seriously, at every corner you'll easily lose the back end. 1.6 seconds. 1.6 seconds in, what, half a lap? Not even that. Gee, I don't think it'd be this easy. Two more corners to go. Avoid the outside nicely. Negotiate the final turn. And Aiden Jackson is going to win the F2 Championship and hopefully a seat in that one. Fantastic fight. work, Aiden. Great drive, mate. Congratulations. Yes! Come on! <laughs> he's happy about it. And he's done it. Jackson's done it. Aiden Jackson wins the F2 Championship. What a win for Jackson! What a win! And it couldn't have gone to a better driver. A magnificent result. He's already been vocal about his dreams of one day driving for Red Bull in Formula One. Let's just hope the right people are watching today. Yes, let's hope. And here he is, the man of the moment, Aiden Jackson. An amazing race and a fantastic win for this incredible driver. Indeed. After this, I guarantee that Jackson will be the hot topic in more than a few upcoming F1 team meetings. The future's definitely bright for this young driver. Oh, the future is definitely bright here for young Aiden. Okay, chapter one. Having won the F2 championship, Aiden Jackson has now secured a seat in Formula One. We already know who because we obviously chose it, which is Alpha Tauri, and is preparing to take his first steps into the world's most prestigious motorsports series. Can't wait to tackle it, let's do it. Aiden, uh, now you've made the leap to Formula One, no surprise to anyone who's been watching your career, how does it feel to be on the verge of getting behind the wheel for your first race? To be honest with you, Will, it hasn't really quite sunk in yet. The team has given me a fantastic opportunity. It's a once in a lifetime, a dream come true. So to answer your question, I feel like a little kid. I look around and I'm surrounded by my heroes, you know? I've even had to pinch myself a couple of times. So yeah, it can be a bit overwhelming, but out on the track, the speed, the noise, even the smell, it's all the same. I just hope my driving is too. And what about Casper Ackerman? Are you intimidated at all having such a seasoned and experienced driver as your first teammate in Formula One? How's that relationship coming along? I've always looked up to Casper as someone to aspire to. Growing up as a kid, his pictures are all over my bedroom walls, you know? Mm -hmm. The dream was always to be Casper. But, as it turns out, I'll be racing alongside Casper, which is good enough for me. I get to learn from the best. Besides, every legend has to start somewhere, right? <laughs> good Aiden, point. Just wondering if we can get your reaction to the obvious comparisons that are being made between you and another F1 driver. Much like you, he made the transition from F2 to F1 last season. What do you say to the press here and to your fans who are calling you the new Devon Butler? <laughs> oh boy. The new Devon Butler. I'm alright with that. Does that mean we could lose the old one? <laughs> <laughs> you come over well. They like you. I don't know what you were worried about. Thanks. You know, everything's going to be fine out there today. I'll just know it. Just do what you did in F2. Easy. 
so the cars will be faster. Thanks, Brian. I won't let you down. <sighs> Come on, Aiden. You've got this. Absolutely, mate. You have got this. Okay, so it looks like we are in Aiden's room. Nice bowl of fruit. Room. Oh, my spare clothes. Yeah. Not a bad looking room. Got the big screen here. Anyway, it's time for F1 20. Okay, let's get interrupted by Brian. Hello. Aiden, are you in your room? Oh, hey Brian. Yeah, I'm in my room. Good. Well, have a look around. I hope you like it. Should be everything you need in there. News feeds, social media. Are you hooked up to the lot? Just do me a favour, eh? Go on. Make sure you check your emails. I think there's a message in there for you. Oh, right. Thanks, Brian. Take a breather, do what you need to do, and I'll see you before the race. Nice one. Okay. So now... Okay, as I was saying, a new season is upon us. Uh, after all, is it is the start of the event. Oh my god, can I speak? Hey, mum. No, I'll... <laughs> no, I'm joking. It's mummy. we got to accept her. Hello. Hello, love. How's it going? All right, mum. Yeah, it's going all right. I'm just getting ready. I saw your interview. And? You need a haircut. <laughs> well, thanks, I guess. But aside from that... You were great. I'm so proud of you, Aiden. I know, Ma. Thanks. I wish I could be out there with you. This is everything you've worked towards. Yeah, I know, but you'll be at the next one. Just do what you do, and everything will be great. Thanks, Ma. And remember, mirror signal maneuver. And always stick to the speed limit. <laughs> Great advice. I'm all over it. I know you are, love. I'll speak to you later. Good luck. Bye. Sticking to the speed limit, which means you'd be going 60 k's an hour around Albert Park. <laughs> uh, anyway, time to check the social list. Mad, mad WTF1. <laughs> Aiden, 30k followers. Anyway, Matt, well, it's here. A new season, a new F1 season is upon us. I feel like we've been waiting all year for this. Well, you don't have, didn't have to wait too long. F1 big fan, can't wait to see Aiden Jackson. Let me try that again. Can't wait to see what Aiden Jackson could do in F1. He, he smashed it in F2. Yep. Devin Butler real. F1 big fan, I'm sure he'll be great. Is that the only positive thing you're going to say in this career, in this series, Devin? S S Summer's F1. Wonder how the reg changes will affect the racing this season. I'm already loving the shark fins in and nameplates. Ham fan F1. So blessed to be living living in a time where I can see Hamilton make history. Hashtag S7 all rising, I think. And I bet Aiden is feeling the nerves today. Good luck out there. Hashtag Alpha Towery. Of course, first first race, you're gonna get, you know, those first race nerves. Even the pre race nerves. Yeah, uh, are sometimes in there. Shark sign. Gutted. I gutted I couldn't make it this year. The atmosphere at Albert Park is always phenomenal. Maybe next year. I've been to Albert Park a few a couple of times in the last couple of years in nineteen and twenty for the Thursday practice sessions. Unfortunately we couldn't be there on the Friday for uh, the F ones to or to see the F ones because it was a school trip won't go into too much details, but it was a school trip on Thursdays, uh, 19 and 20. Streamer tips. It's not about webcam or PC setup. Quality, a quality mic can make all the difference. Thank you, streamer tips. Jimmy Broadbent is in this game. My alarm didn't go off. Would not have been a happy boy if I missed the start. 
long button. Snacks, check. Drinks, check. Alpha Tower hat, check. Bring on the rice. Obviously, an Alpha Tower fan. <laughs> Arab? Arabs in the game? <laughs> Is it too early to call it for Mercedes? Ooh, Arab, I'd be careful if I would. That could come back to bite you. If I win, it's 85. Arab, they've got a great car, which is why I want to see Bottas bring it to Hamilton this year. Bottas 3.0. Wish Valtteri did that in real life. Unfortunately, that is not the case. In fact, he's going to Alfa Romeo uh, next year. And that is it. Uh, quick check of the emails. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Jeff. A few tricky corners. Yeah, especially that. Um, especially through eleven and twelve, that fast chicane. I mean, how do I know this track? It's because it is based where I live. <laughs> yeah, finally, don't cut two twelve too much. That fast right hander, uh, fast right hander. The shot at the high speed chicane. There is time to be found here if you keep your foot. Puts in, but first, it is easy to unsettle the car, and second, it is easy to get a penalty. You gotta find the balance, okay? Question mark. Casper, Aiden, I noticed that you left your paperwork in the garage. Aiden, not a good start to your career, mate. If you can't look after your paperwork, and hey, good luck, good luck out there today. It's your, it's your first race, but let's see what we can do together. Casper, I'm hoping we could do big things together. Uh, yeah, quickly do the rewards, but we are going to skip that. Anyway, let's go to the race. Okay, with the world watching and expectations high at Alpha Terry, F1 rookie Aiden Jackson appears to be holding his own in his maiden race in Melbourne. With the possibility of a points finish, he keeps focus on the race in front of him. That's always a good sign. Continue. Okay, here we go. A solid start, Aiden. Let's try and push it further. Copy that. Uh, where's Casper? He's up ahead. Let's try and bring you two closer together. Okay, gap ahead is 1.6 seconds. All right, let's go. Okay, objective. Catch up to Ackerman before lap 11. Why specifically lap 11? Okay, Ooh. So I've got five or six laps to do so. And he's seven seconds dead in front. And we've got Ricardo in front. Casper's in P10 at the moment. Looking at the minimum map, looks like we've got a okay. Okay, happy hour here. Oh wow. I see a Williams and a Haas in front of us. Man, this car is very understeery. Doesn't want to turn. I just realized this is the 2020 season. So this is the COVID Grand Prix. So this is like what the Oh my god. Massive screen freeze. Jeez, I'm lucky I didn't go anywhere else. Jesus. Anyway, as I was saying, so this is season 2020. This is the COVID Grand Prix. Let's just call it. <laughs> oh, that's that's brilliant. Oh, we're not gonna dive on dive on Danny. So this is like the, at the what if Grand Prix. Very wide. That's what the dirty air does to you. Okay. Whoa! Okay, break. Get oh we did we get the run? Not necessarily, but we are gonna get a run on Georgie. He's going defensive sort of and we're gonna go right around the outside of him. And then we'll let those two Battle it out. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh boy. Look who's in front of us, guys. Things are gonna start to get. Thank you, Jeff. Things are gonna get tasty straight away, I reckon. By the time we catch him, I wanna see what he does. Whether he goes defensive or whether he's gonna make it easy for us. 
Come on. Come on. Oh my god. That massive screen freeze. Straight. That was probably the run I was looking for on the previous lap, but you guys mega cheese! Move over, why don't you? Oh. Or am I? Caspers in P10 at the moment. I don't know. I can't remember if I touched the grass or not. Maybe it's either that or I outbreak myself. Plus, putting a wheel on the grass. Oh. Okay, this is not helping me. Casper is a couple of places up on you. Okay, let's spam the overtake. Jesus. Let's spam the overtake button, because we're going to get DRS out of one and two. Okay, let's spam the overtake button, just to try and make up as much time as we can. Because we have to catch Casper, which I reckon we almost have, before, what was it? Before lap 11. So basically, if we don't pass him by the time we start lap 11, then I don't necessarily know what happens, but... Okay, people, 1.8 seconds, that's the benefit of having DRS open. Okay, DRS, 60% remaining. Yeah. Oh! Australian What's Grand going on Prix here? This has been, but there's still plenty of time for more drama. There certainly is, Crofty, and these two have been fighting each other incredibly hard so far. They don't want to go tripping over each other, though, because Devon Butler is coming up from behind. He's on the attack, too. Aiden Casper's not your priority. We need you to defend. It's okay. I've got this. Here comes Butler. Three abreast. Oh, no, it's an overtake. Oh, this can't work. Look, it was a late move from Devon Butler, but you never want to see two teammates make it. Maybe a couple of like two seconds behind and be seething at that one. Make it three Absolutely. wide into 11 and 12. Who else isn't going to be happy too? Aiden Jackson, not how his F1 race debut should have gone. Well, that's not how it should have gone. And how is he this far in front? How's it feeling, Aiden? <laughs> yeah, car's okay. Understood. See how well you can do out there. Copy. Oh, damn. Okay, just finish the race. Okay. Do we have any? No, we've, we've got no damage. Where's Casper? Pop down in all of this. 17th. Gee, that's going to be frustrating. Okay, so it doesn't show what ties he's on. Do we get DRS? What? How do we not get DRS? I thought we were close enough. Oh yeah. Oh, baby. I'm not giving that place back. 3 or no 2.8 to Lando, that's probably a bit much on this lap. Okay, so we've gained 9 tenths on 9 tenths or something on Lando, but it's not going to be enough. Hamilton wins the Australian Grand Prix. in the grass again. And now the last turn. I don't care about faster lap, but it's going to be points for Aiden Jackson in his debut race. Okay, pick up rubber. Probably could have done more, I reckon. 
add that into the knob in and plus I reckon we're gonna have had a double point. That's finish. it for another Grand Prix and a fantastic win for Mercedes. What a start to the season this has been. A fascinating race here in Australia at. The top teams as ever continue to push the boundaries of the sport. It'll be interesting to see how the new Alpha Tauri driver Aidan Jackson settles in, especially after that early incident involving his teammate. Mm. Well, we've certainly seen rivalries born from less. Suffice to say, if you came into the 2020 season hoping for a bit of drama, it looks like you won't be disappointed. The drama between the two Alpha Tauri drivers. Can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory okay, celebration. Anyway. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. Yeah, top three as usual on the podium. Almost exactly in real life. So that's basically the Cobra Grand Prix. This is that was basically the what if Grand Prix. And you know, what if this was real life? Okay, another screen freeze. I'm hoping that this is not going to be an occurring issue. An awkward incident involving Devin Butler and his eight teammates, Casper Ackman, Mayor Jackson's maiden outing in F1. Hmm. I don't like it. He's not too happy, isn't he? Casper, listen. I don't know what happened out there. It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? Who was the idiot behind the wheel of your car, hmm? You're pathetic. You won't even admit when you made a mistake. I'm... How did they ever sign you? Mm. Oh. Uh, I'm Devon. I didn't see you there. I walked, like, out on the track today. You nearly took me out, mate. Look. I don't know what happened. You cut in, I swerved. Next thing I knew, Casper was out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mate, I was nothing to do with it. Whatever that was, that was all on you. Don't be trying to pass the blame because you haven't sailed in yet. All on Aiden. All on Aiden. Well, he. Just bear with us one sec. No problem. He was told to whole position that ca he, that Casper wasn't his priority and he was told to hold so but Butler was the one who made the three wide so what advice would you give to Jackson I don't know yeah. well stay out of my way mostly <laughs> and uh, taking out your own teammate is just something I can make a habit of almost ready Aiden. we're just checking audio levels uh, sure Seriously, Casper must be wondering what on earth Alpha Tower we're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Thanks, Devin. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Aiden. Let's talk about that incident with your teammate. No, thanks. <laughs> oh, wow. Team Tussle at Alpha Tower. Not a great start for the F1 outfit. Well, it's never great when you see two teammates colliding or crashing to each other anyway. Trackside, Devon Butler's back. The infant terrible of F1 returns. Brian, you can't just come into my office. Brian, talk to me. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Listen, what happened out there today? I had it all under control and then... Look, let's not go through all that now. We'll talk about it in the debrief. Right, yeah. I was actually talking about your little running with Casper and Butler over in the paddock. Oh, wow. News travels fast. The paddock talks, Aiden. Besides, I've got ears like the hawk. Listen, Butler's a clown. The man's ego is bigger than a... No, I've got nothing. <laughs> Don't give it a second thought. Thanks, Brian. But Casper... Yeah, so you can get a little hot-headed, especially after a race. But you have got to work with him. That manoeuvre today... It wasn't my fault, Brian. It probably cost us points. I'll level with you. A lot of people on the team are disappointed, Aiden. And I'll be saying as much to Casper. Now, learn from it and move on. But you can't let it happen again. I'll see you at the debrief. 
he does make a good point there, Brian, that it probably did cost them points. And I totally agree with that. You know, they probably they could have had a potential double points finish. So, you know, just going back to that tussle or to that incident, Aiden was told to, um, to, well, he, he was told that Casper wasn't his priority, so, and he was told to hold position. But anyway, he's up the inside, and and I don't know, I can't remember um, um, viewing the footage um, in my head, but I don't know if there was an overlap or not. If there was an overlap, you could, at that point, you could have chosen to stay with it, or if you stay with it into the chicane, you've got to run side by side through there anyway, unless the guy on the outside backs out, or you back out yourself. So, that's a hard one, but, but luck, mate, you're two seconds behind. How do you make up that time in like 500 meters? <laughs> wow. Anyway, knee post. Noble F1. No deny, deny a good result for Jackson. Probably would have been better off if he had avoided his teammate though. Ackerman must be furious. Well, we saw the evidence. Uh, uh, great race, well done. A respectable result for new driver Aiden Jackson. We all like a little drama. Well, we all do like a little drama when it involves rivals, but not when it involves teammates. You don't want to see two teammates collide. Into the barrier is in this game. He barely even uploads anymore, doesn't he? Jackson, I said I've got this cue the swerve. He was told to hold position. He said I got this. Depends on how you look at it. F1 big fan, into the barrier. Yeah, it wasn't his fault though, was it? See, that that question there, questions on, on that incident just right. Karun Chandok, well there you have it. With the first race of the 2020 season in the books, what did you all think of it? I thought it was a good race, if I'm aiming, to be honest. He drove a good race, and you know, I reckon he probably could have had a few more, few more points, to be honest. Streaming tips. When live streaming, make sure try to keep keep a consistent schedule for your audience. Will be your audience will be much more likely to return if you do. Thank you, streamer tips. I'll try and keep that in mind. But guys, I don't know if I've told you already, but I can guarantee you that I do not promise in doing daily uploads. <laughs> oh, but I'll try and keep it a consistent schedule as I can. Dave Gaming, I would love to be in the Alpha Tower debrief after that incident with Aiden, Jack, with Aiden and Casper. So awkward. Aka, my man, my emotions watching that race, or watching that incident. Simple three to one. Rookie's gonna, Rookie's gonna rookie, right? That looks like an L. Doesn't it? Demo Mardik! Jackson, this is fining. Fining? What? Replace the the E with a D. This is finding. <laughs> That's what it should be like. Like he's way into a butler and Ackerman sandwich, but it's Ackerman who takes the fall. Yeah, I'd be pretty put down if I were Casper. Totally agree. Lombotton. Timo Mardik, I don't know. What well, it says about Jackson's situational awareness, but I can't see how you can put that on anyone other than Butler, TBH. He almost makes a point there. Lol, these two scraping, s scraping it out while old man Ackerman is like, is like, so help me, I will turn this car around. Emails, first race in books. Good to see. Get some points in your maiden race. That is an achievement, but of course, we're going to be going through uh, the incident. Right, uh, quick rewards. And that's basically it. So, that is the first episode of Breaking Point out of the way. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure you leave a like in this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you don't, if you haven't, what are you doing? Press that subscribe button now. Until the next one, I'll see you next time.